When and where did it all start? How did we come into existence? What is the exact origin of our being? We all have stumbled upon this question every now and then, and everyone across the world has a different answer, which is based on their native regions or religious mythologies. Sadly, we can't pin down one definite theory, but what's surprising is not how creation stories differ, but how much they have in common, even when they originate in vastly different places. Hi! And welcome back to our channel, where today we're going to be going through some of the most interesting creation myths from all across the world. So let's just jump right into it. Judeo-Christian and Islamic Theory The first book of the Jewish Torah in the Christian Bible, Genesis, has two origin tales that are both acknowledged as the world's creation by the current Jewish, Christian, and Islamic religions. In the first, God says, Let there be light, and light appears. He created the sky, the earth, the vegetation, the sun, the moon, the animals, and all living things, including people, in six days. Be fruitful and multiply, he urges to everyone, and they all do. On the seventh day, God takes a day of rest, reflection, and self-evaluation. On the second tale, God creates Adam from the earth. He creates a garden in Eden for Adam, but forbids him from eating fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Adam gives the names of the creatures, but is still by himself. God sedates Adam and transforms one of his ribs into the first woman, Eve. She is convinced to eat the forbidden fruit by a talking snake, and she then persuades Adam to do the same. When God discovers this, he banishes them from the garden and makes man mortal. Egyptian Idea Nu, or none, the primordial sea of chaos existed before the beginning of time. A god known by several names, including Adam, Amun, Ra, or Amun Ra, hatched from an egg on Nu's surface. Masturbation was the means by which Ra produced a divine son and daughter, who mated and produced a race of gods. Humanity was created by Ra's tears. Ra's grandson, Osiris, wed Isis, his sister, and was able to succeed Ra as monarch of Earth. Once Isis discovered Ra's covert identity, Identity. In contrast to Isis, who taught humanity weaving and medicine, Osiris demonstrated how to procure food and drink. Greek Belief There was nothing but darkness at first. A bird with black wings named Nyx was the only thing in the empty space. She deposited a golden egg with the wind, and she sat on this egg for a very long time. Finally, the egg started to come to life, and Eros, the god of love, sprang from it. The earth and the sky were each represented by one half of the shell, which soared into the air. The sky was given the name Uranus, and Gia was given to the earth. Eros then caused them to fall in love. Together, Uranus and Gia had a large family that eventually included grandkids. When the child Zeus was an adult, his mother taught him how to con his father into giving up his siblings and sisters. Once this was done, the kids had a fierce battle with their father. The younger generation finally prevailed after considerable struggle. They started supplying Gia with life and Uranus with stars under Zeus's leadership, but the earth still lacked two things, humans and animals. Zeus's ordered his sons Prometheus, Forethought, and Epimetheus, Afterthought, to go to earth and create humans and animals and give them each a gift. Prometheus began the process of creating humans in the likeness of the gods, while Epimetheus focused on creating animals. Athena gave life to the clay figure that Prometheus had created from mud. Furthermore, he had given Epimetheus the job of bestowing various attributes on the creatures of the earth, such as strength, cunning, speed, fur, and wings. Sadly, Epimetheus had distributed all the positive traits by the time he reached man, so none remained for him. Even though only gods were supposed to have access to fire, Prometheus felt compelled to give it to man out of distress. The following morning, as the sun god ascended into the sky, Prometheus took some of the fire and brought it to mankind. He taught his creation how to take care of it, and then left them. Zeus was enraged when he heard about this. He gave the order for his son to be bound to a mountain, to have his liver picked out by a vulture every day for all of eternity. Then, he started to think of a way to punish humans. Pandora was a magnificent woman who was made by one of his other sons. She received gifts from all the gods. Curiosity and a box that she was never supposed to open were Zeus's gifts to her. Then, he offered her as a wife to Epimetheus. All of the miseries that currently afflict the world, pain, illness, envy, and greed, flew out of the box. When Epimetheus heard Pandora screaming, 
He hurried home and secured the lid, but all of the evils had already escaped. Later on in the evening, they overheard a voice coming from the box. Let me out. I am hope. She was set free by them, and she then flew into the earth to infect humanity with hope. Norse belief. A land of ice and fog called Niflheim existed before time began. Muspelheim, a place inhabited by fire giants and demons, were located across a wide chasm. An enormous cow named Adhumla and a frost giant named Ymir were created when the ice of Niflheim was ultimately melted by fire from Muspelheim. More giants grew from Ymir's armpit sweats and were breastfed by Adhumla, who created more giants by licking blocks of salty ice. The deity Odin and his brothers were born as a result of the union of these giants. Ymir was murdered by Odin and his brothers, and from the remains of this giant, the earth, the skies, the sea, the clouds, the mountains, and the trees were all created. Asgard was created by Odin as a home for the gods, and a rainbow bridge called Bifrost connected it to Midgard. The maggots in what was left of Ymir's body transformed into dwarfs and remained below the Earth's surface. Ask and Embla, the first man and woman, were made when the gods discovered two tree trunks on Midgard and gave them life. Hindu Thought Based on the idea of the triad, Brahma began with nothingness. He formed the waters with his mind alone, and then he dropped his semen into them. This developed into a golden egg, which gave birth to him. After giving it some more thought, he divided the egg in half, making heaven and earth. As Brahma got lonely, he divided himself into male and female forms. In one version of the narrative, Brahma repeatedly divides himself in half until his body produces all living creatures. In another, the first man and woman mate while taking on several animal forms before giving birth to life. The Supreme One is comprised of Brahma, the Creator, Vishnu, the Preserver, and Shiva, the Destroyer. Every cosmos that Brahma creates is ultimately destroyed by Shiva, leaving nothing except a wide ocean on which Vishnu floats while perched atop a massive serpent. In other versions of the narrative, Brahma is said to have emerged from the navel of Vishnu rather than from an egg, and Shiva will eventually destroy our world as well, restarting the cycle. Babylonian Belief the gods of fresh and salt water, Apsu and Tiamat, who gave birth to multiple generations of gods before Ea and his numerous brothers, are at the beginning of the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation story. However, because of the commotion these younger gods were making, Apsu and Tiamat were unable to get any rest. Apsu planned to murder them, but Ea killed him first. Tiamat swore vengeance and fashioned a variety of creatures, such as the Mad Dog and the Scorpion Man. Marduk, a huge deity with four eyes and four ears, was created by Ea and the goddess Damkina as their defender. When the two clashed, Marduk used the winds as weapons and flung strong winds down Tiamat's throat, rendering her helpless, before shooting her with a single arrow to the heart to end her life. After that, he cut her body in half and used the pieces to make the world in the sky. Then he made man to perform the menial tasks that the gods rejected, such as farming, telemarketing, and accountancy. And with this, we come to an end for the video. Which creation story did you find most relevant and intriguing? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our channel. We'll see you next time with another mythical mastery. Until then, keep believing.